Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm excited to show you how to use the Meta Llama 3 model with Hugging Face, all within a Google Colab notebook. We'll go through the entire process step by step, including setting up the environment, loading the model, and generating text. Let's dive right in. First, we need to set up our environment by installing the necessary libraries. We're going to use the Hugging Face Transformers library for model loading, PyTorch for tensor computations, Accelerate for optimized training and inference, and Bits and Bytes for memory efficient model loading. Next, we need to retrieve our Hugging Face token to access the model. If you don't have one yet, you can get it by signing up on the Hugging Face website. Go to Settings and then Access Tokens. Create a new token from here. In order to access the Meta Llama model, you need to agree to share your contact information and agree some terms and conditions. In this collab notebook, we'll use the user data module to securely fetch our token. This snippet gets our Hugging Face token securely from the collab environment. Make sure to add the Hugging Face token in new collab notebook secrets. Now, let's import the libraries we'll need. We import Torch for tensor operations, Auto Tokenizer and Auto Model for Causal LM from Transformers for loading the tokenizer and the model, Bits and Bytes Config for configuring memory efficient model loading, and Pipeline for easy model inference. Next, we define the model ID for the Meta Llama 3 model. This ID tells Hugging Face which model we want to load. You can find the model name by searching it on Hugging Face. We'll configure the model to load in 4 bit precision to save memory. This is crucial for running large models on limited resources like those available in Google Colab. This configuration helps us load the model in a way that uses less memory, making it more efficient. Now, let's load the tokenizer and the model with the configurations we've set up. Here, Auto Tokenizer and Auto Model for Causal LM load the tokenizer and the model respectively. We set the padding token to the end of sequence token and we load the model with our quantization configuration. Running this code will load tokenizer associated with the chosen model identifier and the actual Meta Llama model. We can now set up a text generation pipeline using the model and tokenizer. This makes generating text as simple as calling a function. The pipeline function simplifies the process of setting up a text generation model. We specify the task text generation, provide the model and tokenizer, and set the maximum number of tokens to generate. Finally, we can write a function to generate text based on a given prompt. This function takes a prompt, generates text using our pipeline, and returns the generated text. Let's test it out with an example prompt. Let me ask to explain the concept of generative AI to see what our model generates. We will call the getResponse function and print the response here. As we can see, it generated the response. The concept of generative AI is the ability of AI to generate new content and so on. And that's it. We've successfully set up and used the Meta Llama 3 model with Hugging Face in a Google Colab notebook. This setup allows you to generate text efficiently and effectively. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more AI tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.